back. And during my live stream yesterday, I was actually attacked by her. Both Unseen Bones and I was attacked by Explorer Elizabeth. How did that happen? I thought she was dead. No, real quick, if you're just now joining us on this series or you didn't see the past videos, basically about a month ago, I was contacted by this user called Explorer Elizabeth. She spammed my Roblox DMs with a bunch of weird messages asking me to check out her game. And when we did an investigation on her and her Roblox game, and we actually found her YouTube channel, she was counting down until the date July 1st. Apparently, she was going to attack Roblox or something. Anyway, she was going to pull off this attack with the help of a user called Unseen Bones, who was actually a popular Roblox hacker on TikTok. Now, everything was going well during our investigations on these two. That is until we found Unseen Bones' son. Because you see, Unseen Bones is actually a father and he has a son. Well, he had a son because we found his son dead in the middle of a forest in a shack. There he is right there, Unseen Bones' son. And that's when the plot twist happened. It was revealed that Explorer Elizabeth wasn't actually counting down to a Roblox hack or an attack. All of this, her entire plan was to take out the entire Bones family. She wanted to take out the son. She wanted to take out Unseen Bones and she wanted to take out his wife. Now, after Unseen Bones' son was killed, he and his wife went on the run from Explorer Elizabeth. And that's actually when I and all of you guys stepped in to help him. We came up with this plan to stop Explorer Elizabeth once and for all. We used to trap the lure into the forest and then we all joined in and, well, we, we, we took her out. As far as we all knew, Explorer Elizabeth was dead. That is until yesterday. You see, I got this tweet from Unseen Bones that chapter two of this story was happening. And you guys know I love me some cool Roblox myths, so I loaded up the live stream, hopped on with you guys, and it began. Unseen Bones was actually doing a countdown on his YouTube channel. And well, when the timer hit zero, he contacted me on Roblox and told me to join into his game. It was time for the next chapter to begin. So we joined back into his Roblox game, back into this weird, creepy forest, and it was completely different. He's completely updated the game, and it's a lot scarier now. Unseen Bones told us to look for something in the forest, something that would help us with our investigation. And while we initially found this weird cave in the middle of the forest, and if you go down in it, you actually find Glitch inside of a test tube. Yeah, this YouTuber right here, Mr. Glitch, no clue what he's doing in an underground test tube, but apparently he's there. We also once again got to meet up with Mr. Tubers93. He's still in the cage. Shout out to Mr. Tubers93. We miss you, buddy. Anyway, you guys had the bright idea to go and check up on his wife. Because if you don't know, there's a button in the middle of the forest, and if you click that button, it actually teleports you to a bunker where his wife is staying. And well, that was actually a good idea because when we entered into the room with Unseen Bones' wife, we actually found a giant red button underneath her chair. And well, when you push that red button, it teleports you to a completely new game. I loaded in, and there he was, right there, Mr. Unseen Bones, standing in the middle of this weird, creepy room. There was a bunch of x-ray machines all over the place. And well, that's when Unseen Bones actually told me that he needed to take an x-ray of me. He needed to see if I was truly on his side or if I was an enemy like some other YouTubers, like Mr. Glitch over there. He told me to lay down on the x-ray machine, and that's exactly what I did, even though that looked uh, lo lo looked kind of weird there. Thought he was going to probe me for a second. Anyway, he ran the x-ray machine, looked at the results, and well, it turns out that after all the help I did with his son, with Elizabeth, he actually considers me an ally. I am not a target of Unseen Bones. I'm not an enemy, and that's good. But that's actually when smoke started to fill the room. As I was leaving, loud noises started to go off. Smoke was everywhere. Well, Dunstein Bones and I was really, really confused. Like, what was going on? Is there a fire in the room? Did one of the x-ray machines catch on fire or blow up? And well, that's when we saw her through the smoke. Right there was the name. To be honest, we all thought we were hallucinating because there was just no way Elizabeth could be alive still. But there she was right there. The name through the fog, Explorer Elizabeth. She walked up to us and explained to us that she was actually alive. That despite all the gunshots and our attempts to take her out, she was still breathing. We were unsuccessful at stopping her, and now she was back for her revenge. And while both Unseen Bones and I was trapped in this room with her, we didn't really know what to do, and we couldn't really see anything either because of all the smoke. But apparently Unseen Bones had a plan, and he was expecting this. Because he whipped out a Roblox tablet and called one of his friends. And I was really confused who he was talking about here. As far as I knew, Unseen Bones didn't really have any friends. But he started summoning another Roblox user into the game. Elizabeth started freaking out, and well, that's when they joined. Honestly, this part really blew my mind because I had no idea any of this was going to happen. But there she was, right there, standing in front of us, Death Dolly. Now, if you don't know who Death Dolly is, we've actually done a few investigation videos and streams on her. Basically, she's this mysterious, famous Roblox TikToker that apparently died in a car crash. And well, despite being dead, her Roblox account is still there and still comes online. Honestly, if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out as well. This was like 
the ultimate crossover event. Anyway, Elizabeth started freaking out. Apparently, she knows who Death Dolly is, and she is scared. <laughs> well, that's when Death Dolly whipped out a gun and just shot her. Just point blank, gone. Evaporated right then and there. Death Dolly just took her out, man. And well, right after that, my Roblox game froze, and I couldn't get back in. I actually had to force exit out of the game. That's when Unseen Bones actually messaged me on Discord and told me that Dolly didn't actually kill Elizabeth. That gun she was using just teleported her to another secret facility. A secret facility where, according to Mr. Unseen Bones, they're going to try and mind control her, and that they would contact me again once the mind control process was complete. Well, that's where the story ended for right now. Honestly, this was pretty crazy. I wasn't expecting any of this. This was great. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen next in the story. I'm going to read through all your comments down below. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the next part of this, whatever it is. And I'll see you guys next time.